last night I stood up really late to like 3.30 just working and just kind of chipping away at some design stuff. Um, not really sure why I always get motivated and do my work always at night. Um, but I woke up feeling really, really crappy and I'm cold. It's really nasty out. Uh, I don't really want to do anything. Um, but I have to kind of force myself to make it to the gym because the way I'm looking at it is like, there's a few ways to kind of just be in life and just in general, it's just like, oh, okay. So you hustle really hard and you, whatever. And then you, uh, can also like, you know, take it easy and be nice to yourself. And I don't think either of those alone are, are accurate. I think sometimes you have to hustle and sometimes you can be really nice to yourself. And right now I'm looking at it as kind of a, like a recipe. And I think about that a lot at the method of, you know, you put this in the bowl and this and this and this, and then you can pretty much predict what you get out. And uh, going to the gym is one of the pieces of the recipe of the life I want to have, the, the brownie mix, so to speak. And I love brownies. It's nothing like a good homemade brownie. But um, actually I have this thing where I will never refuse a homemade brownie, um, just because there's something about them that's like probably my favorite snack. It, is, it has to be homemade though. But yeah, so I am going to go to the gym and I'm fasted and I'm, again, I'm super, super hungry. Uh, I'm also out of, really out of it. Um, and I listened to a, like a lot of music last night, so I don't even really want to listen to music. So I'm going to put on a podcast and work out and mm -hmm. do chess today. Uh, which will at least make it somewhat more enjoyable because I think chest day is probably the funnest day And then maybe that'll kick me off on a good foot. So don't you love how in the morning you always look your best like most ripped uh, It's awesome. One of the great things with fasting is that you do look like that up until the time you eat So you don't lose it. You don't have your first breakfast thing and fill out almost it's ridiculous, but uh, yeah, this is kind of what I wear to the gym pretty much every day. There's some joggers. Um, these are from Top Man. Uh, they're, they're actually really good because they last, like, these are probably about two years old. This shirt is maybe 10 years old from Eastern Mountain Sports. And the shoes are these custom Nikes I bought a while ago. They're super awesome. The silhouette of Nike Airs are so much better than say, I have these Air Max, which are good too, and they have a good silhouette. It's this heel, see how the heel pops out? Uh, also look, have a funny silhouette, like the really weird heel. It has a flat back, in my opinion. But yeah, pretty much this is my uniform for the gym. It's simple, it always works. Yeah, I mean, and then I also have this hoodie from Uniqlo that I really, really like. It's like kind of my dedicated workout clothes to improve how I see myself. And two is like, if you're feeling like really gutsy and fat, uh, two, if it shows that, which some of my shirts do too, some days I need that extra motivation. All of that, everything psychologically with how you look, uh, really, really adds into, I think a better workout. And then, so I got to put my contact lenses cause I don't like to work out in glasses. So I was just talking to my brother and we're going to be starting an everyday based manly Instagram page slash company stuff. Um, we're just kind of going over some details and mapping it out. Um, Vintage, dark, you know, keeping darks as darks when you're, when we do the editing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so one of the things about that picture you're pointing out does have faded blacks. Yeah. Uh, which. I don't know why, I mean, I'm not against faded blacks. I just think it has a certain uh, motivation. Yeah. But to me, I, I, this is just my personal thing is like, I think faded blacks get boring fast. Yeah. The great thing is that our teaming up of our skills are really going to make this page really awesome. Yeah. And it's not just gonna be just some kind of Instagram page. It's not gonna just be pretty pictures. Um, also, we're looking to create it as a nice business model to work with brands that we love uh, in the whole everyday carry thing. It's gonna be really, really cool. You know, I'm starting to get it. People 
get obsessed with coffee, but I don't think it's the coffee because coffee is disgusting. I think it's just that energy and that energy is the addictive part. Coffee is just this lame thing. And that's one of the things that happens with the gym. I was actually just talking to my brother. Yeah. We both kind of have this thing where it zaps us of our energy. Whenever we work out, we get more tired. Uh, but for me, you just get tired temporarily um, until you get coffee, of course, but it's the energy. And I think that when people get addicted to the gym and stuff like that, I think one of the aspects that's probably the, the biggest carryover is the energy. All right, so I'm gonna get into a tour of my bag, my gym bag and all that stuff in a second. Uh, but first let's talk about PRs, right? So for me, <clears throat> personal records are something that I only started trying to do, uh, excuse me, uh, when I started and met uh, Greg Kinobody He's so good. Um, and the programs are just so smart and so practical. And uh, they're really geared towards anybody who's just trying to level up. They're geared for a lot of people, uh, but they're not geared for everybody. I am a target audience for that. And I think Greg's a super awesome dude. His business skills are insane too, but nobody sees that. When I learned about personal records and seeing how it's possible to hit them every week, it was because of the, his program. So my last week's chest was, I did four reps at 75 pounds on each side. And then this week I got that one extra rep. I got five at 75. And for me, that was my PR. Now I'm not gonna go up and wait. I'm going to try to stay at that five for the first set because last week it was on my second one. So it was, so last week it was four for the first at 75, then three at two and a half pounds less. So it was 72.5. And then this week it was five at 75 and then four at 72.5. And then I went back up at five. So I hit like crazy PRs on this one uh, for today and I was really tired and I'm fasted. It's just a matter of approaching these numbers with this concept of always just get something better than the last week. All right, so now I've gotten that out of the way, the most boring part with the numbers and the PR and the technique. Technique's cool, but there's a lot of different techniques and not the same one works for everybody. So I, I think that the mind space is the best way to learn. That's what I really, really wanna to talk to you about today. And I have this thing, It's it's just, I always do the same thing before all my stuff because sometimes I just get scared. I'm like, I look at this weight and for some reason my brain goes, wow, that's a lot of weight. You sure you can do this? And it just worries me and you know, there's a lot going on in my head. Whether I'm even feeling confident or scared, I run through this system it, uh, before my heavy lifts, which is almost always the first. So I don't even, I get my warm ups, but then it's like, we're on, right? So, you know, have you heard mind, body, spirit, whatever, right? Well, I go body, mind, spirit. That's my checklist. So I'm sitting there, let's say I'm gonna do some bench press, you know, I, I go body. I check my body, I make sure my shoulders are back, my scapulas are like put into my back pockets. I'm like, I'm good, everything's great, straight neck, I get my body together. And I, I think about all the mechanics. And sometimes I'll even set up my prep and I'll just do a quick test, make sure I'm centered on the bar, all that physically the form is good and my body is good. And then I think about my mindset and I think literally like, okay, am I good? Am I connected to my hands, my body? And I'm thinking about the weight. Did I get all the pins on everything? It's like tight. Am I correct? Is the seat right? Like literally the thought process, like what's going on in my brain? And then I think quickly kind of like my mentality, which is I think generally I kind of say the same ish thing is I can do this, I have done this and I'm about to do this. And I say it like two or three times just about right before. So I set everything up, let me just reiterate really quick because it's, it's a formula. So it's a body, get set, mind, I can do this, whatever, check all the stuff. 
and then I go into spirit, and I don't mean spirit like religious, spiritual, or spiritual endeavors, like I'm channeling anything. It's not like that. It's more like my, my is the spirit of my excitement and my love for this and my appreciation of my body is that is my heart in this right now because it's so easy to just go through motions and just kind of forget about what you're doing so i just think so i'm just always thinking is my spirit in this and and i just think about my whole life and i think of everything i am and how everything has come to this point and this is where i am and this is what i'm doing and i've arrived here at this moment in the presence and I think everything's perfect because I've already checked off my body. My form's gonna be tight. I don't have to worry about that. I've checked logical stuff and emotional things too, like as far as motivation and, you know, I'm about to do this thing and then my heart's in it. And then I can go and I'm tight and everything's super fucking solid and I'm super powerful and confident. And that confident is something I really, really wanna talk about another time, but being there and then you get to do, do it and you've done everything you know how to do it. All you have to do is focus on doing this super powerful thing with yourself and your, your mind and your body at this precious moment and you crush it. You just, you have to, you have to be so in touch to really, really push it every single time. And you know, the times that I'm not even in it, it just gets so tough. And today's was a little difficult and I, I told you I was really tired and I talked about the recipe and I started with a podcast during my warm up and I realized that, that just, it wasn't doing it for me. I needed something more emotional. I needed some kind of like support in my brain and my heart or whatever, whatever, however you want to put it. But the podcast was just kind of like, logical it was really just not in touch it's like you know how when you get sad and you listen to a sad song you're like yeah it feels great uh, well it was kind of like that I was I started with a logical because I'm like yeah I must go to the gym I must follow this recipe and I got there and I just didn't feel nearly as good like I usually you kind of perk up and then I was like I have to shift something so I put on my favorite station it's a pandora's 70s light rock l-i-t-e rock and it's so smooth it's so soft and so feel good to me it's a it, spotify cannot compete to pandora as far as stations go ever pandora is so much better than spotify in my opinion as far as stations go i quit my spotify account because i just thought it wasn't doing anything for me uh, so I just listened to Pandora, or there's this thing called Deezer, but... So, Pandora, I put on the 70s light thing and I started feeling good, so I'm like working out to like, this like, uh, America or something, and I'm like, yeah, this feels good, and then I crush through this bench press PRs, it's smooth, like, nice, soft, light rock, <laughs> 70s light rock, and, <laughs> and it felt good, and then I kept going, and then by the time I got to my dips, was just kind of over it, I felt kind of good it's kind of like when the conversation just goes on too long with somebody you go okay cool let's move on stop talking about that let's, let's go do something uh, well that's kind of how I felt emotionally I was like okay cool enough 70s rock uh, so then I put on heavy metal and then I thought I was thinking of this really interesting thing I was like music is such a fascinating thing in tone so heavy metal and metal and I was like looking around literally at like metal stuff all and I'm like interesting because metal is just so rough so tough so uh, almost unemotional it's it's brutalist it's really really fascinating and that's kind of how i would tell it's like i don't need anything coming in anymore i'm done i'm solid i'm i'm hard as a rock right now and like i'm ready to go it was getting stimulus of of this emotion but it was just definitely more of a superficial one I just generally crushed every single PR because I was just finally in the right headspace. So I kind of worked out not only my actual body, but my head. And I think that that happens almost every single time I work out. And most people you talk to that really, really kind of get into it, uh, they also agree that working out is generally more for your brain. Your brain. Okay, I'm jumping in really quick. I forgot to talk about my bag. All right, so this is my bag. I got it from Amazon. 
basically this pouch here, I just keep my notebook in. It's just a military pouch. It's just a strap with a pouch with a thing on the front, which is great. And then I have my water bottle. It's just some Camelback. And then I have my Rise weight belt, which I love. It's really nice quality. It's starting to soften up too. And uh, there's these snaps. I use my Cobra grips for my like deadlifting and all that stuff. If I ever just hit the limit of my grip strength versus my workout and I just keep those on there all the time. So I basically just carry these things to the gym every day. I don't need anything else. I don't need a backpack or anything. It's pretty great. Even like today, somebody stopped me and they're like, oh, I really like that. I was like, yeah, it's awesome, right? He's like, yeah, it's really smart. I was like, yeah, it's perfect. It's great. Uh, I will link it in the description. I'll make it in an Amazon affiliate link. So if you do get something from me ever, uh, it's going to be an affiliate link because it would be nice to bounce back some money. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So that's it for today. I wanted to take this vlog outside and stuff and do a little something exciting, but honestly, I'm just gonna be on the computer for the rest of the day studying. And maybe I'll edit this today too, I'm not sure. This is kind of my life. Sometimes it's just indoors and I just go through the motions and put the pieces of the puzzle together and or the recipe, so to speak, and just let it bake and just keep going. And it's not really exciting. Uh, at least and exciting in like the Hollywood way or, and I don't think it should be. And also like, I don't really want it to be. Like I want, I want these spikes and I want these things. So it's, I'm not numb. Yeah. Um, also, I love you guys. That's all. P Peace.